when we um, introduce a new concept is going to fill out a concept sheet, which is just like a reminder sheet that they keep in their binder so that if they need to refer back to it, they always have it. So today Kate's going to be working on um, developing her concept sheet for the vowel consonant E syllable. Okay, so Kate, here's our concept page for vowel consonant E syllables, this guy that we've been working with. All right, so let's take a look at what it says, the reminders up here about vowel consonant E. This, you can read with me if you want to, but I'll, I'll kind of fill it in too because there's some uh, words here that have difficult spellings. This, this syllable has a vowel, a, then a consonant, any consonant, then an E, then an e. right? Vowel, consonant, E, like this, vowel, consonant, E. Second thing is, the first vowel is going to be long. To show that it's a long vowel sound, we're going to put a straight line across the top. See that little straight line right there? Mm -hmm. Like that? That's called a macron. The macron symbol means that that's going to be a long vowel sound. That is a brave that shows that it's going to be a short vowel sound. Just so you know, two markings. And then the third thing is that E on the end is silent. silent. Exactly. Uh huh. Um, this syllable can be combined with other syllables to make longer words, and we'll talk about that, for example, right here. Okay, so let's put some examples on your page to work with. What's this word? Stove. Mm-hmm, yep. So, notice why they put a mark across the E? Why do you think? <laughs> Does it make a sound? No, so we're going to put a cross along the, the E to show that it's going to be silent. It's not going to make a sound. What kind of vowel sound will this make, long or short? Long, exactly. Mm -hmm. Long sound. And so this is going to be how many syllables in this word? How many vowel sounds do we have? One, uh -huh, one syllable, and that's what the swoop mark is there for, to show that that word is actually going to be one syllable, vowel consonant E. So what's it going to sound like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Okay, so I want you to pick another word to write on the line, one of your words. You can use one of your own, or you can look back at our um, word read and use any of those words. One syllable, vowel consonant E. Like rope, that would work. Tell me the letters. R O P E. Spells. Rope. Excellent. Okay, so you know how we draw that arrow from the E over to the vowel? Can you do that one? Mark it up. Mm hmm. And then um, put the symbol over the O to show that it's going to be long. Exactly. Put a swoop under the word. How many syllables does it have? One. Yep, swoop. There we go. And what kind of syllable is that called? Long. Syllable is called vowel consonant E. e. Uh huh. So mark that. See how they marked vowel consonant E? Mm -hmm. Mark this syllable vowel consonant E. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. So then we can also use um, the vowel consonant E syllable combined with other syllables to make longer words. What's that word? You had that one earlier. Halfway. Mm-hmm. Choose one of your more than one syllable words, or one of your own, to put another example word on your line. Mm -hmm. Is that more than one syllable or one? One. Let's choose a more than one syllable word. Fishbone? Sure, Fishbone. that works. Let's do it. So, um, put a swoop under your vowel consonant E syllable. Is that your vowel consonant E syllable? Okay. So, um, what kind of syllable is this that you just marked? It's not vowel consonant E, it's uh, the other kind that we've worked with. Remember what that stands for? Consonant. Mm, but what kind of syllable is this? The C stands for a what kind of syllable? Consonant 
Does it have a consonant e at the end though? No. Okay. So, um, what kind of vowel sound is this? Short or long? Short. Okay. What comes after your short? What closes the vowel off? What kind of letter? Consonant. Okay. So we call this a what kind of syllable? The vowel is closed off by closed a consonant. So we call it a what syllable? I have an idea. Look at your syllable type sheet. Flip over. Leave that next one right here. Okay, so see what you underlined? Closed. Uh-huh. Does this syllable look like a closed syllable? No. What's different? What makes a closed syllable? Closed syllable is where consonant and the vowels in the middle. The vowels in the middle. Yeah, the vowels in the middle, and it's closed off by at least one consonant after it. So, is this a closed syllable word? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's put a C under it for closed. Okay. Swoop your next syllable. What kind is that? Long. It has a long vowel sound. Mark the long vowel sound. Very good. Remember how to mark the long vowel sound with a macro? Yeah, so it's a vowel consonant E syllable. Good. Long vowel sound. Yep, and you can draw that arrow from your silent E. Or, or you can mm -hmm. mark it out. Yep, either way works. As long as we remember that silent E is going to make the vowel closest to it long. And so read your word. Wishbone. Beautiful. Yeah, good job. So we're going to keep this concept page um, as a reminder in case we want to look at vowel consonant syllables again.